just so you guys know, there's a brand new episode of my podcast, Let's Get Real, the podcast. It's for anyone. Don't forget to check it out. Available on all streaming platforms. New episodes every single Monday. And of course, my book, Mindfulness Through the Stars, is available in Target, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you can find books nationwide. Go check it out. It's a mindfulness guide to becoming a better you through your zodiac sign. Lastly, if you've ever wanted guidance, clarity, or spiritual advice of any kind, Keen is the place for you. With access to thousands of trusted psychics, clairvoyants, tarot readers, and more, Keen is here to help. Use my link in the description to claim 10 minutes of talk time for only $1.99. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I make astrology videos here on YouTube. As you can see from the title, today we're doing another drive with me and today we're gonna have a Capricorn in the car. So I've actually never met this Capricorn before. This is my first time meeting him. We literally just followed each other a few days ago because someone that I met online reached out to me and said that she knew him. So he's gonna be in my car today. I'm very excited to get to know his brain, how the mind of a Capricorn works and just ask him a bunch of questions. So I'm super excited to ask him everything that you guys have been sending in. If you are interested in sending any questions, make sure to follow me on Instagram and keep an eye on my story because that's where I put the question prompt so that you guys can send in all the questions you have so that you can learn about each zodiac sign. So we are gonna get into the video, but before that, a quick word for our sponsor, Keen. I will be quick, I promise. I just have a quick thing that I wanna share with you that I think you guys will love. So if you're not new to my channel, then you're probably familiar with Keen. Keen is a website and app that gives you access to thousands and thousands of different types of psychics, clairvoyants, tarot readers, astrologers, and so much more. If you're looking to get some guidance, clarity, or wisdom on your love life, your career, your future, anything of that sort, then Keen is the place for you. I love Keen because if I ever need some spiritual advice, then I can go on and find a trusted psychic that has all the answers for me. I definitely think it's something that you guys should try out In fact, I actually have a discount for you guys. So if you use the link in my description, you're gonna get a 10 minute reading for only $1.99. Do you know how many answers you can get in 10 minutes? You can ask a lot of questions in 10 minutes. And for $2, that's a steal. Buy a cup of coffee, get some wisdom and clarity on your life. So if you guys are interested in checking out Keen, make sure to click the link in my description to claim the offer. And thank you to Keen for sponsoring this video. All right, back to the drive with me. All right, guys, so this is Shaquille. I have him here today. He's the Capricorn, and he's going to be answering a bunch of questions. So do you want to just tell them a little bit about yourself? Sure. Oh, my gosh. Um, (laughs) So Shaquille, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a Capricorn. I'm 25. I'm currently a bartender and working on getting my electrical uh, ticket, which is like my journeymanship. So technically, I'm an apprentice at the moment. And yeah. Do you do anything like creative at all or? See, I kind of left the world of creativity for a minute just to Mm -hmm. try to get my life in order. Okay. Naturally, I would say I'm more creative than I am anything else. Yeah. I kind of need to get my chickens aligned before I feel like I can really invest my heart and soul into creations. That makes sense. So at one point, I I would call myself a spoken word artist, but Mm -hmm. I haven't put pen to paper or actually come up with any insightful you know, we're playing a while, so mm-hmm. in spirit, yeah. I you are like a creative artist. person. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, absolutely. cool. But yeah, okay, so do you want to start answering some questions? Yes. Are you all boring? <laughs> That's crazy. Do you get that? I think we're boring, yeah. <laughs> I think we're boring. No, I generally think we're boring people. Like, mm-hmm. We're very apparently hard working and like yeah. financially conscious. So I, I think if we're going to stay in that lane, that's a pretty boring lane. It's not mm-hmm. jumping all over the place and, you know, s- fireworks, but... <laughs> do you ever get, like, crazy or, like, do you ever, like, get out of... I don't know if you're, like, shy or anything, but do you ever... I wouldn't call myself a shy person. So you're, like, social or introvert, extrovert? So I, like, I kind of split my myself into somewhat of a duality or more. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like who I need to be is what I am contextually. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I choose or have the ability to choose the version of myself that is best appropriate situationally. Okay. Which I don't know if it's a Capricorn thing or it's a personal thing. So you like adapt to the yeah. environment that you're in? I would I would say I'm I'm I'm, an, I'm a chameleon. I'm quite adaptive. Mm, okay, yeah. So like a social chameleon. And but I also have a, a like a like a wick too I feel at some point. What yeah. does that mean? Like a candle. 
eventually kind of socially burn out. You just mm. want to be alone in a dark room and, <laughs> you know? Like, that sounds very Capricorn. Is it? Yeah. That's crazy. No, I just, yeah. I can be and socialize, but at certain points, I just, mm -hmm. wow, I'm still doing this, eh? Oof. Yeah, no, I get that. Cause like, even me, I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart yeah. and I, call my version of that like my social battery where I feel like it dies out and I have to recharge it. Honest to God. Yeah, like I'll be fine in social settings. I'll be having a great time, but then slowly, like you said, I'll burn out and then I need like days to recharge and like be alone. Days. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I need like days sometimes. I can't. I, mm, mm, I live alone, so like I feel like. Oh, I'm, I used to. And back then I didn't need days to recharge because yeah. I was always alone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am always alone, dude. So yeah. like it's, it's, it's cool, but. I feel like the reason I chose the career paths that I'm on right now is it, it provides a certain duality with it all. Mm -hmm. It can be a social butterfly on the weekends, but like my nine to five, I'm like in somebody's house trying to figure out their electrical circuits and it's really boring. It's oh yeah. A lot of old people and homeowners. Oh my God, and lots of small talk. Oh my God, yeah. all my whole life is small talk. Do and you I like small talk? I hate it. Who likes small I talk? I hate small talk well, so much. Who likes small talk? No, some people actually enjoy it. Some no. people actually think it's like passes the time because they just want to make conversation. I think small talk is a skill to be completely honest it with you. It is, it is. Like if you have the ability to jump in and out of topics like very smoothly, yeah. that in itself. It and is relatability is honestly mm -hmm. so hard. Relatability is what makes small talk easier, yeah. I feel. Okay, interesting. Okay, do I consider myself selfish? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Capricorns I'm, are very selfish. Yeah, I've, yeah. Aren't we all selfish? I, it's just an unconscious acknowledgement of mm -hmm. it. Like, everything that you do, whether you think it's to make somebody else happy, at the end of the day, it's if you are really tuned into it, you're doing it for yourself. Yeah. Because the effect that you give the person in itself provides you somewhat of stimulation. Mm hmm. And if you're breaking it down that deep, it's we're all selfish to a degree, I think. Do you get called selfish ever? Um, I call myself selfish before most people get the chance to. Why do you feel like you're selfish? Why would I choose to not be selfish at the end of the day? <laughs> no, because you can only do so much for the world around you. Yeah. Everything that you do is about you to some degree. It's just being conscious of it, you know? Yeah, we're all kind of like self-centered at the end of the day. It's not a choice. We're but just born into one body. It's not like, well, I don't know. Everybody has a spectrum now. But I don't try to create friction with other people with my selfishness. And mm -hmm. I don't try to impose on other people's my understanding of other people's happiness with mm -hmm. my selfishness but okay. if it has to make me happy if, if what my objective is is to make me happy in most contexts if in some caliber it is at the expense of somebody else's happiness not to the point where i'm conscious of it and actively doing it maliciously okay okay but if it i can realize that this person may not love what i'm doing i can call myself out on it but okay in most cases if it's not hurting them, I just continue. Are you a selfish person to the point where like, you're like stepping on other people ever or like you just- I wouldn't say so. Okay. But that's not always up for me to say. Yeah, that's like true. A different people of different they calibers have, of yeah. what is affecting them, you know? And okay. I can only do so much within my understanding of the cause and effects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, interesting. Yeah. So you are, okay. Yeah, I would say I'm selfish. <laughs> I am selfish. Okay. I'm selfish. Yeah, no Just doubt. double check. <laughs> no doubt. Why do you refrain from helping? Um, I guess that goes with the selfishness. Can I explain the question first? Yeah, sure. Okay, so there's this thing with um, Capricorns that they have this tendency to like, when it comes to people that they love and care about, right. they'll help them the out most, out of yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah. But if it's like a coworker or a distant friend, they literally don't give a shit about them at all. Not even a bit. Okay, so this is the thing about the social battery. Mm -hmm. I think, like with your social battery yeah or whatever um i think that like capricorns let's say we only value the idea of love mm -hmm. you know what i mean everybody else and and this is let me just break it off to me now i categorize every human being around me into what they are to me yeah a friend an acquaintance a treasured acquaintance a co-worker uh, a partner and then I allow them to understand where they are within the parameters of my existence mm -hmm. I don't make people call me friends because I don't see them as a friend actually okay. if you want to call me a friend that's on you but you won't call but I won't anybody call, your friend exactly yeah, I feel yeah. like that's unfair to the expectation that I yeah, have what a friend absolutely. is to me so I feel like when I don't try to do as much for a person that who sees me as a friend that I don't that's where the 
lack of wanting to help may come off. Okay. It, from my perspective. So I think there's just a hierarchy of priorities and we choose the ones that we genuinely love and have pure connections with. That makes sense. That makes sense. And then you don't resent other people for like taking advantage of you. Like nobody really has the opportunity to do that. No. It's like, well, again, you can only you can only do as much as you're aware of. But yeah, that's true. It could be happening. But I think just actively being conscious of the situations and relationships that you're in is important to Capricorn. Um, are you selective with dating? Absolutely. Isn't everybody? No. <laughs> what is that? You'd be surprised. Yeah, I would say I am. Okay. I would be a selective person. Mm -hmm. And it goes with the whole prioritizing people's energies around you. You know, you know, and I at least tell people exactly who they are to me. Yeah. And if they have a different title, so be it. But I think in terms of dating, um, yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't want to invite every energy that gives me like validation around me and in from a conscious perspective i don't see myself as an ugly person <laughs> you know what i mean yeah and i feel like i know when i'm being hit on mm -hmm. and i know when my advances on somebody are being reciprocated or well received mm -hmm. so i feel like within reading the subtle context of dating or Recording or whatever it may be, yeah. I would have to be selective because mm -hmm. why would I be? It's kind of creepy if you just if you try to just date anybody. Yeah, and especially for I just I don't want to sound like a well, I am a narcissist to be completely honest. Oh my! <laughs> but I don't want to. Are you a narcissist or you have narcissistic tendencies? I don't know where the line is anymore, to be honest. Okay. I just I just I feel like I just call myself out for people's assumptions before they do. Yeah. So they don't create narratives that's away from what they think I'm not conscious of. Yeah. Like I know who I am and I know why I do certain things to some degree. But okay. Um, I feel for me I just don't want to allow every energy that gives me validation because I feel I can validate myself enough that I just, just don't want every single one that is available. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely seem selective then. Yeah, I would have to. I, oh God, I would. Why does the opinion of others matter so much for y'all? It does. Aren't we selfish? Actually. Do we care? Okay. That sounds with personal. With some Capricorns, <laughs> it does sound personal. That sounds personal. Sounds. With some Capricorns, I find that if they're like unevolved, it has more to do with like their upbringing though, not their sign. Like they'll be more, like they care about other people's And opinions. that's where I get lost on astrology the the, the 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 science or the factuality of astrology is just opinions and upbringings it real. can be bruh okay <laughs> do you ever get called awkward i can't i can't be awkward really i can't be awkward i don't know if capricorn i can't be so you don't ever feel awkward I, i'm like i i would say i grew up understanding myself to be a people pleaser mm. Okay. And then it evolved to being a person that understands humans. Mm -hmm. So awkwardness for me is relatively rare because I attentively try to empathize with what a person is or going through mm -hmm. and relate as fast as I can to the point where it's like become like an exercise that I do not. So to, for me to be in an awkward situation means that I'm, I'm, I'm socially timed the fuck out and I just don't care. Mm. And it's oh. not then it's not even really awkward. Then it's just me being an asshole. Yeah, I could see honest. that. Not with you, obviously. I just met you, but like, I can see that in Capricorns. That actually makes a lot of sense because I find that with Capricorns, the awkwardness is kind of one-sided. They make me feel awkward, but I don't think they care. No, like, they I think they don't. Yeah. What are you talking about? So that actually makes a lot of sense because, like, I've seen Capricorns like that. And, like, I used to work with a lot of them when I had a job, and like, I used to mm. be around a lot of people that we would, don't care. Yeah. No, we don't care. Their battery either ran out or they just maybe just don't like you. Yeah, Possibly. I think they I think they didn't like me, I won't lie. It's possible. I'm pretty sure the two people I'm thinking of, so maybe okay. they cared enough not to tell you but couldn't hold it back enough not to show you. You know? Interesting. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Are you in tune with your emotions? Thanks to that white woman I am. Oh, okay. Which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> um Shout out to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, unfortunately I am. Were you before her at all or no? I was, but I wasn't aware of the emotions that I that were more important. Like I was too focused on like, I wasn't even pride, I was never a prideful person. Yeah, I think I was just focused on me too much and I didn't try to understand the, the, the like, the intimate relationships that I had with other people. Yeah. I think I just saw everybody as just like a person in my life. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really created a, a system of like value to each emotion and who I should be catering emotions towards or who my safe spaces mm -hmm. for my emotions are, you Makes know? Sense. And I think just being with a person who is just emotional as a mo <laughs> Yo. Was she was a sign? cancer. No way, that's yeah. why. Yeah, 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 so, so I figured that out. Oh my god. I figured that out. So I evolved emotionally because of that relationship. That's it. Oh, before we even continue, yeah. I forgot to mention your rising and moon sign. Mm. So your rising sign is Libra, mm. and your moon sign is, oh, I have the same moon sign as you, Virgo. Why do you avoid being vulnerable? Like, do you, do you agree with that? I love being vulnerable. Really? I love it. Me too, actually. Are you kidding me? Was that sarcasm? No, I'm, I'm oh, okay, genuinely okay. serious. Because nobody I, ever really says this. When no, I, I say it, people I are always it. like, why no, do you I, like... I fucking love it. How else am I going to grow? Exactly. I'm like, I feel like it's it's a phoenix effect you know what i mean you burn in your ashes just to become stronger and better mm -hmm. i feel like you understand yourself your true self when you're vulnerable and it's scared strength. you know what i mean yeah. and I, I had this weird philosophy mm -hmm. which makes no sense but i think for me it kind of like hits home okay and it's like uh no pressure no progress and that I, is very true. You know, like that is I, very I'm true. so stagnant unless I kick myself in the ass to move or unless I moved. And Every time I've been stuck in a corner and shit's gotten really hard, suddenly I, I, I adapt and clear, I thrive. And, slow motion. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. Yeah. I'm dying one day. Like, that's the scariest thought. That already keeps me on edge. It's like the, the reminders that get me closer to there just fucking. Okay, let's fucking go. You know? Yeah. It's a scary word born to die it's so crazy i know the second you're born you start dying <laughs> your body's literally like ah! slowly decaying ah! <laughs> <COVID -19. laughs> oh my god yeah, not great <sighs> why do you never forgive anything so based on the value system that i have if we're gonna go back to that mm -hmm. i don't expect things from people who are not in my upper echelon of value so i understand say my coworkers and my acquaintances mm -hmm. I don't expect much from them, right? So, in that context, I I'm, I really don't care. Okay. But with the ones that I care and love, <laughs> selfishly, I feel like I've done the work to create an understanding of who I am and the value system that I'm trying to create a tandem of between you and I, because mm -hmm. every individual relationship is is unique. Mm -hmm. per, I think personally, and I'm just Capricorn thing. I try to be very articulatory, articulate of what the relationship is and where I'm at in that relationship. Okay. And I feel like when, that at that point, ignorance is not an excuse anymore. Mm -hmm. So how can I forgive what you should know better of? It's at that point, intentful disrespect or, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I, 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 I don't try to, I don't know if it's personal or zodiac. I feel like if you just create your boundaries, establish what it is, who you are, and where, what you're doing, yeah. you, there are no blind spots. Like, once you shun light on all the blind spots, you, there are no more excuses. So I feel like what's the point of giving a person so many chances when you've already given them the blueprint, the answers, the test, and, and, and the cheat sheet, you know what I mean? Like, yeah then it's they don't care enough to to be a part of what you're doing here so why even and then this is i feel like i'm speaking it sounds like it's coming from a personal place but it's not i think this is just like how i've always uh, but it would be personal crazy <laughs> anyways <laughs> do you hold grudges do i hold grudges yeah no not really i'm gonna die one day why would yeah. i care enough to like have somebody i don't get angry purposefully I feel like anger is the, the the laziest emotion possible it's so true it like, is like it's this like yeah 
why would you allow yourself to give complete control to somebody else? Because that's all anger does. Yeah. You, you just you just volunteered your stability and your mm -hmm. your free happiness. Yeah. It's like here, you take control of me right now, and I I care not to be geppettoed by somebody. To be honest. Why this one? Every Capricorn I've ever met mm -hmm. does this. Why do you always jump to pessimistic conclusions? Do you? It's a that, Capricorn first thing. I thought it was just me. Oh. No, that's a Capricorn thing. Every Capricorn I've ever met is like that. Um, because then you're prepared for the worst outcome. Why do you want to be prepared for the worst outcome? Though? Why would you not want to be prepared for the worst outcome? Why Life not is not always and... hoping doesn't do anything. Preparing <gasps> preparation is what gets shit done. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, Capricorns are realists. Bruh, live by the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Proper, pre 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 proper preparation prevents poor performance. Okay, that's practical. Why do you want to keep everyone happy and ignoring your own needs? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you don't do that. <laughs> um, wait, it goes back to the hierarchical system. Mm -hmm. I only care for those that value that I value. Everyone else, I don't prioritize their needs. So, so who I care about, I keep happy. Everyone else. So for the people you care about, do mm. you ignore your own needs to keep them happy? Absolutely. Oh, okay. So it's just people that like, like acquaintances, all coworkers. All no value to my existence. Okay. And I've made that very clear. Mm -hmm. okay. Love you all the coworkers I've all had over the years. You guys are great. <laughs> I mean. Oh my god. I mean. Oh. Oh my god. Why do you think you know everything? Because what I know, I know. But why do you? Okay. Because Capricorns have a habit of just being know-it-alls and thinking that they know more than everybody, no matter what the topic of conversation is. I, you, I could sit here and talk to you about astrology, for example, and let's say you're the typical Capricorn that this guy's referring to, right? Okay. You would try and like educate me on astrology, even though you don't know shit about it. Hmm. Okay, so yes, I can absolutely see Capricorns doing that. Can, Why? Because what they know, they know. And I feel like, I, I, don't, I can only speak for myself, mm -hmm. but at a certain point, I know I don't know certain things. And I feel like I'll break off from that and just admit it. Uh, that's as far as I can go. But like, if you're if you catch a Capricorn in something that they're well versed in, mm -hmm. you catch them. See, okay, so you don't do, I guess, what typical Capricorns do because you just said that when you don't know something, then you're able to let it go. Most Capricorns don't do that. I want to know. If I don't know, I want to know. What I do know, here you go. But do you pretend to know things just for the sake of like not backing down from the debate? My ego doesn't need that. Oh, so maybe it's just the Capricorns with a big ego then because... Uh, what does that get me? I would rather know the information mm -hmm. than... How does he say? What do they say? I'd rather be thought of as a fool than open my mouth and be proven as one. That doesn't work to this. That's just me. Can you repeat that? I'd rather be thought of as a fool mm -hmm. than open my mouth and be proven as one. You Get can think quotes. I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you can think I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. But until I open my mouth, I'm not an idiot yet. Till I true. prove you to be till I prove myself to be an idiot. Yeah. You're only you're the idiot for for your prejudices. That is true. Interesting. I never heard of that before. Why do you always fall for Virgos? We do? I gotta think for Scorpios. Really? Yeah. They're awful. I know. That's They're I like. so awful. No, I'm toxic. <laughs> oh my god. They're I'm, literally the worst. I know, I'm toxic. I like it. Oh my god. Virgos are toxic too, though. And then, yeah, sure. They're earth signs. You guys are earth signs, so if you were to go for a Virgo, that would make sense. But Scorpios are I don't not think compatible many... with Capricorns. That makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> They're not compatible. Are they actually? No. That's horrible. Why don't you guys take risks? Huh? That's crazy. That's a thing. You guys are Another very thing? like calculated. Da, 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 da. I'm not that guy. So you're like you can be spontaneous. You can. <sighs> I live. To, I'm gonna. I live to be spontaneous. Oh okay. What? You sound like a very different type of Capricorn. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm, I don't abide by any astrological laws. Oh my god. I just exist. <laughs> okay. How do you get a Capricorn to open up? Ask them questions. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. So let me give you an example. Let's say there's someone that you meet at work and they want to be your friend and you're not really giving them much, but they want to be your friend. How can they get you to open up so that they can get to know you better? I've already stated that I want to be their friend. Leave me alone. Oh my God. Is that like what? Like, 
I appreciate the effort, but if why? <laughs> okay. I don't want to do this. Like part of what I'm seeing off you is like extremely Capricorn, and the other part I'm like it doesn't seem Capricorn of you. Crazy. How can I help my Capricorn brother get out of a depressed state? He's been down and unmotivated. If he's over 19, take some shrooms. Microdose. Okay, so do you, maybe you could answer that without um, telling her to tell her brother to do drugs. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Don't How do drugs. I? Um. Give him ideas about potential businesses that he can start. Why? I feel like a lot of it could be men, it could be Capricorn, it could be an amalgamation of both, it's a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. I think giving yourself value or creating value for yourself definitely helps anyone's psyche. And I feel like if Capricorns are true to their nature or true to their son, whatever, what would help him mm -hmm. is in finding new meaning. And that means something that he can dedicate himself to. Short term, long term, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Like any sort of purpose, like something with purpose. A business, a project. Um, something with purpose. Just that's yeah. That's that's a really good answer. I feel like that actually would really help. Mm -hmm. Do you find that you're like the typical stereotype of Capricorn when it comes to like making money and saving money? Yes. And... That's good. That's why I'm not an artist anymore. I think I tapped into my Capricornness one day. I'm like, oh shit. I. Are you happier that way? <clears throat> with stability versus like creative expression and freedom no yes. no but I don't I would at this I think I'm young yeah and I have right now the freedom of choice mm -hmm. and I would much rather not clubbing it up in my 20s and wasting all my money mm -hmm. and then be 35 and broke like I'd much rather kind of be a boring 25 year old up to my 30s and be a toxic hoeing 30 year old you know oh my god whatever <laughs> i don't know where life's gonna take me but That's i'd rather true. i'd rather establish myself younger so i don't have to work as hard <laughs> in my older age but what about when it comes to like your artistry and stuff like That's when i'll have the time i don't have the time now in my eyes i'm a first generation canadian i don't want I have suit roots to sew. I don't have time to like. I don't have time. Wow. Does that make you sad? Or you've accepted it? What's there to be sad about? Okay. It's 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 my version of stoicism. Like it's just the work that I have to do. I don't think I know what that means. Stoicism. Stoic. It's like. God, I'm not gonna butcher the definition. Cool. They're gonna get me. Okay. So stoicism is like. <laughs> An un... It's like completing the task regardless. You're you're given... I can't really explain this. You want me to Google it? Yeah. I'm actually pretty curious. Fuck the... It's like you, your job. It's, you have to do your job. It's the job that you're given that must be done. And regardless of the adversity, it just gets done. And I'm butchering the definition. Oh, uh, no. You actually... The development of self-control and fortitude as a means of overcoming destructive emotions. That's yeah. not what I said. But. It's not what you said, but it's. I understand your explanation now that I've read this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just got to do it, man. Like, as we were talking about before, like, somebody's got to do it for the next, my kids or my, the next generation. So yeah. I, <laughs> next question. How'd you get it? No, I already asked you that. Why do you use... <laughs> what were you doing? What? I don't even see that. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see wow. that well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I will see the footage. I know! Why do you suck? Why are you emotionless? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I suck? Oh fuck, I just suck, I guess. Why are you emotionless and why are you so money driven? Why are you the worst? I suck because yeah, I, I, you're not my priorities. Money driven because money runs the world. Uh, why am I emotionless? Because yeah. I don't care about you. Why are you the worst? Because you're not the best. Good answer. <laughs> Why are you willing to go up to any extent to please your partner when all you're doing is disturbing them? Okay, 
okay, this That's guy. That's a cool <laughs> one, though. Okay. I think we think we're doing what we're doing is valued more than what they think is more important for them. Pure narcissism. So do you actually consider yourself to be a narcissist then? Like... Define, can I get the dictionary definition? You ever done the quiz? I'm probably a narcissist, dude. Yeah. Wow. But you seem very self-aware. Most narcissists are not really self-aware. Whatever spectrum it, I'm on, I think I definitely love myself a lot. But that's really different than being a narcissist. Uh, I, uh, maybe I'm not a pure narcissist, but... Maybe you have narcissistic flavors, as my therapist Ooh. says. Therapy, that's... It's great. It's healthy. It's yeah. really healthy. It's lovely. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you should go to therapy. You know what, I mean... I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't know you enough to say... You know what? I think every person to needs to fucking go... Every, every black person every specifically black person needs, needs to go, to go to therapy. Fuck. Every black yeah. man yeah. needs fucking therapy, dog. Yeah, I think everyone should go to therapy. Trudeau! Get on that! What signs have you dated and what are your experience? Um... Well, we know cancer so far, right? I've only ever been in one relationship. Oh, interesting. Well, technically, yeah. In my, in my life, I've had... One girlfriend in elementary school. One... Like these are <laughs> elementary. Yeah, school. like I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going. Through oh, it. I did not know you were going that far yeah. back. I've these are this is so like why don't the people we, I've dated. Why don't we talk like eighteen plus? I don't know. Now, if hold that, on. Oh, like, I, like, okay, okay. Sorry, you can share that. Elementary, one person. High school, one person. And mm -hmm. then college, one person. And I dated the same person in elementary and college. She was October. October's gonna be Scorpios. What's early October? Libra. Libra. Okay. Um, so Libra, Cancer. Libra, Cancer, Scorpio. What was the easiest one for you? Libra. And what was the most difficult one? Cancer. Okay. And do you know enough about signs to answer your favorite sign and your least favorite sign? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like Capricorns. Okay, other than Capricorn. <laughs> Yeah, it's my favorite. Okay, yeah, your second like favorite I, then. I, um, <laughs> I like Libras. So okay. Anything with balance, I enjoy. I really like Libras. They're my top three. Yeah. They're so chill. I like Gemini's too. Gemini's are cool. I like people. I like people. You know those duality. are both air signs. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. There's three air signs: Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. What's Aquarius about? That's my sign. Aquarius is the best sign of the zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> There's my top three. All the air signs. Bottom three. All the fire signs. Really? Leo, Sag, and Aries? Leo, I think. Did you just make that up or? I think I don't like them. Why? <laughs> I've never met a Leo that I liked. I, that's my bottom sign. Sagittarius is too close to me. And I was, they, I think they switched the calendar at one point and I was a Sagittarius at some point and it really pissed me off. So I was like, fuck them oh, as wow. a whole. Sorry to hear that. And... Aries? Mm -hmm. Not the kind of bore. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, I'm not interested. Okay. Yeah, I'm fucking, mm -hmm. fucking Aries. <laughs> Do you like extroverts and are you comfortable around them? I think I'm comfortable around everybody. Wow. Do you like extroverts? Um, less than introverts. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Situationally. Oh, right. We went over this. Okay. So do you consider yourself like an ambivert or you just don't really think about it? Yes. Okay. I'm not, I'm not an introvert. I'm not an extrovert. So why don't you like introverts? I, I would prefer introverts over extroverts. But you just said that you... I said I, I like extroverts less than introverts. Oh. Okay. I misheard that. Okay. So why do you prefer introverts, introverts. to extroverts? I, I like methodical people. I think introverts take more time to their actions. Extroverts are a little bit more spontaneous. I don't trust that. What is the definition of a friend to you? That's a good question. Uh, a, f a friend to me mm -hmm. is the exact, as the exact same expectations as a partner, except for sex. Really? Yeah. Like what? Availability, communication, trust, active growth. That is so true. Respect. Mm-hmm. We're just not fucking. Yeah. Seriously. 
Why do you want to satisfy everyone around you at the cost of your own harassment? It's not even a bad thing though for him to ask. It just sounds like he has a great partner and he just, just can't understand why. I know. That's what I like, think. It's weird. Yeah. Like he's doing too much to make you happy and it makes you uncomfortable. Like, I don't get it. Okay, one more question that I'm just going to ask then. Do you consider yourself sensitive? Um, because I find that a lot of Capricorns pretend that they're not, but they're actually really sensitive. Take things really personally. I am sensitive. I do take things personally, but I don't project that sensitivity onto other people. Yeah, there's a big difference. I find a lot of people, a lot of Capricorns do project it, but when they're unevolved. When the Capricorn's evolved, they don't. Yeah, I am sensitive. Okay. And I do absolutely take things personally, especially if I've already clearly stated that it's not something that I'm aligned with. Mm, okay. So, yeah, but I, I don't project that onto other people with their That's aspects. good. For the most part, while I'm conscious of it, if I'm not, then oof, not really anything I can do with that point. Mm -hmm. So I acknowledge it. And... Alright, okay, so then I just have two last questions. Um, very basic ones that don't really have to do with your sign. One is, what are your thoughts on this whole experience? Um, just answering these questions based off your sign and just the drive with me in general. Um, fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a good time. Uh, um, uh, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was quite uh, thorough. Oh, fun is enough. Thank you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wait, no, I got more. I got more. Um, was it comfy? Was it? Oh, yeah, the ride's nice. Okay. I like your car. Oh, thank you. I like my car too. She's cute. The last question is if you had advice for any Capricorns, what would it be? It's okay to be sensitive. It's uh, okay to take things personally. You know you're not being attacked. Be the narcissist that you are, but just don't allow, <laughs> don't project it on other people. Mm -hmm. Be self-aware and be a chameleon, dude. Or ma'am, miss, whatever. So, be a chameleon. Um, adapt because you have the ability to. And I don't know, we the shit. So like, come on, I mean, even if, you don't have to let people know, but you know that you the shit. And uh, start a business, motherfucker. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was good. You did a really good job. You answered everything really well. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for being a part of this. I hope you guys enjoyed his answers. And if you want to be a part of one of the next videos, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Keep an eye on my story. If you want to check him out on Instagram as well. Is that something you want people to do? or? Uh, my, my account's open. Okay, so then check him out. I'll put his uh, thing, his, what's it called? At, at, no, tag, no word for it. Uh, I'll put his handle in the description. And um, any other links that he wants to share with you guys, I'll drop those down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.